My name is Kyle Lampson. I'm the Director of New Product Innovation for Zenith. Zenith is different as a company because we were founded on the idea of always trying to find a better way. We're always looking at every problem from a new perspective. The two primary differences between Zenith helmets and traditional helmets are really the attachment system and the protection system. In a traditional helmet, the attachment system links the chin cup directly to the helmet shell. So anytime the helmet shell is going to move, the player's head is going to move right along with it. With our technology, our chin cup is attached through the low strap all the way and incorporated into the bonnet system. So when you tighten up that chin cup, you actually tighten up the entire interior of the helmet, giving you an instant custom fit. In a traditional helmet, the protective system is a series of pads that are attached directly into the helmet shell. So they're able to absorb linear forces, but anytime that helmet shell moves, your head's gonna move with it. The Zenith protective system is primarily made up of our shock bonnet system. So we've got our shock absorbers and we've got our bonnet, and those are only loosely coupled to the helmet shell, so they're actually able to move independently of the helmet shell at an impact. Zenith technology works fantastic. It's been proven on the field. We've got hundreds of thousands of helmets on field with players anywhere from youth all the way up through the NFL. It's been proven in the test lab as well. We've got a brand new piece of state-of-the-art equipment in our test lab, one of a kind we just had built specifically for us called the Pneumatic Ram. So watching the impact footage, you can see some of the shock absorbers moving independently of the helmet shell indicated by the red X's and others are compressing. The ones that are compressing are absorbing primarily linear force, and that relates back to the traditional type of helmet testing. The ones that are moving independently of the helmet shell are really indicating absorption of rotational force, and that's really uh, what we're testing with this new type of equipment. The impact conditions are much more like what's going on on the field, so it gives us a much more realistic view of what's going on at an impact. We're advancing that technology in the test lab and it's proving performance on the field.